Hello everyone! Itong video na to, bale karugtong ito dun sa una kong video kung saan itinuro ko kung paano ninyo ilalagay sa Excel or Google Sheet ang resulta ng inyong Likert Scale at kung paano ninyo siya i-interpret. Ngayon naman, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano ninyo gagamitin ang resulta ng inyong Likert Scale interpretation para sa statistical tool tulad ng T-Test, ANOVA, Pearson R, at kung ano-ano pa. Example na ginamit natin, mas appropriate dito ang T-Test na statistical tool kasi kinukumpara yung experience ng senior high school teachers sa traditional face-to-face -face learning mode at sa online learning mode. So, bale, um, ito yung raw data natin para sa traditional result ng Likert scale at ito naman yung ating raw data para sa online learning mode at gumawa tayo ng summary table last time, di ba? Na kung saan, kinuha na natin ngayon yung overall mean ng bawat categories para malaman natin kung kumusta ba yung experience na senior high school teachers in terms of workload of teachers, workload of students, accessibility of learning materials, and so on pagdating sa traditional at online learning mode. Dito sa other worksheet na ginawa ko, inihanda ko na siya, bale, pinagtabi-tabi ko na ngayon yung resulta ng Likert scale. Saan ko kinuha itong mga data to? Galing ito sa data na nakuha natin sa bawat respondent. So, bali yung i-enter nyo na data sa t-test ay yung nakuha natin na mean ng mga respondents ninyo per category. Na for example, under traditional, sa respondent 1, for workload of teachers, meron siyang 2.75. Under workload of students, meron siyang 2.75. And so on and so forth. At yan yung in-enter ko dito. This particular row is for respondent 1 under each category in both traditional and online learning. Tapos eto namang sunod na row ay para kay respondent 2. At ganun din sa mga susunod pang rows. Bakit ko inayos ito ng ganito para mas madali yung paglagay ninyo sa t-test? Ngayon, simula natin ang t-test. Ang pag-analyze nito ay by category. So in this case, ano yung mga dapat nyong uh, sabihin nating pindutin <laughs> at piliin dito sa ating mga um, buttons and commands for Excel. Oh, by the way, I'm using Excel. Doon sa previous video ko, ginagamit ko Google Sheet. But unfortunately, uh, hindi ako sanay gumawa ng t-test doon sa Google Sheet. Masanay ako dito sa Excel. So I'm using the Excel now for the t-test. So here, choose data. Ayan. And then after that, click data analysis. Okay. So, andito yung mga different statistical tools na pwede mong piliin. And we'll be using t-test paired to sample for means. Bakit paired? Kasi yung ating sample ay isa lang, senior high school teachers who answered the questionnaire in both online and traditional learning mode. So, meron ka lang isang group ng sample. So, let's click OK. And Ito na yung mga range. Ayun. Kaya nga, ang purpose nito is, so, here, i-delete natin to. Lagyan natin siya ng bago. So, eto yan. Unahin natin yung workload of teachers. So, let's have this one for variable 1 range. And then, for variable 2 range, ayun, dito naman tayo sa online. By the way, if you'll notice, sinasali ko yung word na traditional and online, Para pag-output niya, um, meron siyang label at hindi kayo malito. Now, for the hypothesized mean difference, um, just play zero there. And for our alpha, let's make use of 0 0.05. And then for the output range, eto naman, pipili ka kung saan part dito sa area na to, gusto mong ilagay yung output ng t-test. So I'm going to choose this area. Ayun. So, Na-highlight na siya at lumabas dito yung area na to. Na kaya kapag clinic ko to ng okay, ayun. So, dito siya lumabas. So, this is the t-test comparing the workload of teachers for both traditional 
and online. Okay, so this is for the first category. I-label ko to as the first category, uh, workload of teachers. So, let's proceed to the next category, yung workload of students. Dito natin siya ilagay. Ayan. Workload of um, students. And you will be doing the same process. Again, uh, since na naklik ko na yung data, uh, click data analysis, choose the t-test paired to sample for means again, and then fill up the range. So dito, i-delete mo na to. Dito naman tayo sa pangalawa. Traditional. And then online. Under workload of students. And the same here, wala ka nang gagalawin dito as is na to. Tapos, yung output range, ayun, pipili ka. Sabi ko nga, gusto ko, dito siya mag-appear. And then, I'll click OK. Ayun. So, that's for the workload of students. And so on with the rest of the categories. Ayan. Natapos na nating i-compute yung t-test ng bawat category. Okay. So, at this point in time, kailangan nating ilagay siya ngayon sa summary table na siyang mag appear sa inyong chapter 4 or sa main paper ninyo. Pero sabi ko nga, depende yon sa inyong research advisor and research panelist. Kasi ako, sa aking um, research classes, etong ganitong data na to, na lumabas sa t-test computation natin, pinapalagay ko to sa appendices. Ang pinapalagay ko sa kanila, sa kanilang chapter 4, ay ito. So, gumawa na ako ng t-test table that will summarize everything. So again, uh, we have a column for the total population or N. And ang importante lang naman kasi sa t-test result is the p-value and the t-value as well as your interpretation, whether you are going to reject or accept the null hypothesis. Na, di ba yung goal ng study na to sa ating sample ay gusto nilang malaman kung may significant difference ba yung experiences ng senior high school teachers sa online learning and traditional face-to-face -face learning mode. So in this case, kunin natin ngayon yung p-value and t-value in each category first. So here, sa workload of teachers, ito yung p-value. This is 3.53. Okay, 3.53. And then the p-value, um, dalawa yung nandito. We have one tail and two-tail. I suggest gamitin nyo yung two-tail because two-tail would mean in any direction. So, kunin natin yung p-value sa two-tail which is um, 0 0.024. Ayun, that's for the workload of teachers. What about the workload of students? Dito naman, yung t-value is 2.80. 2.80. At yung p-value to tail ay 0 0.048. 48. Ayun. And you will have to do the same on the rest of the categories. And na-fill up na natin yung p-value at t-value sa bawat categories. Ngayon naman, ilagay na natin yung interpretation based from the p-value. If the p-value is less than 0 0.05, we reject the null hypothesis, which means there is a significant difference. But if the p-value is larger than 0 0.05, we cannot conclude that a significant difference exists. So we will accept the null hypothesis. So analyze natin ngayon pa isa, -isa yung bawat category based from their p-value. So workload of teachers, it's 0 0.024, which is less than the significance level. So in this case, we reject the null hypothesis. So these are the interpretation of the t-test in each category. Now this time, we have to know if there is really a significant difference between traditional and online learning. So alin data ngayon yung gagamitin natin? Para mas madali, eto na siya, yung ginawa natin sa summary table. Eto naman ngayon yung ititit test natin. 
para malaman natin kung talagang may significant difference na in general ang traditional and online learning mode. So again, um, click data and then go to data analysis. The same procedure, choose t-test paired to sample for means and then fill up the different variable range. So dito, sa first one, dito tayo, galaw ng galaw itong aking table. So let's have the traditional first until instruction of delivery. Okay, wag isali yung overall mean. And then variable to range. Dito naman tayo sa online. Okay. And then the same, zero, sa hypothesized mean difference. And we're going to use an alpha of 0 0.05. Now, where do we want to place the output? Dito natin siya ilagay. Okay, sa baba nito. Ayan. Let's click. Okay. So, here is the result. I-fill up na natin yung table sa t-test result. Um, kunin natin yung t-value. And again, the p-value, piliin natin yung two-tailed. So here, the t-value is 13.2. And the p-value is, at para sa p-value, so eto yan. Okay. So magiging 0 0.000043. Ayun. Ngayon, analyze natin. May significant difference ba o wala? Yung traditional and online experience ng mga senior high school teachers. So, 0 0.00043 is lesser than 0 0.05 significance level. Therefore, we have to reject the null hypothesis. So, there is indeed a significant difference on the experience of senior high school teachers in traditional and online learning mode. Ayan. So, sana naintindihan ninyo yung aking pag-explain kung paano ninyo magagamit ang resulta ng inyong Likert scale sa statistical tools. At dito sa video na to, t-test yung ginamit natin.